Guys, here's how to achieve literally anything, okay? I just finished working out in my room. This is basically my room. You have a bed right there. You have my desk right there. And you have the workouts right here. Okay, so the real way to achieve anything you want is simple. Might not be, be easy, but it's super simple, okay? This is how. You kill yourself. Okay, let that sink in. I don't mean literally kill yourself, okay? But you gotta kill your current self. That means to become someone better, right? If you're working out, you're exercising a muscle, right? What are you doing to that muscle? In order to make that muscle stronger, you're tearing your current muscle. That's what it is. When you're tearing your current muscle, you're tearing it to tell your brain to build a stronger muscle, right? Because you're working it so hard. So as an instinct, your brain builds a stronger muscle. So it's the same thing with life. The same way that God made atoms look like solar systems, he made improving your muscle the same improving your brain. Your brain is also a huge muscle, right? And basically, if you wanna become whoever you want, well, let's go back further, right? Because in order to achieve anything that you'd like, whether spiritual or materialistic, if you wanna get your dream car or house, the key to doing that, sorry if I'm shaking, I just finished the workout. The key to doing that is actually becoming the person who is able to achieve what you want to achieve. Instead of actually buying that dream car you have, just become the person who is capable of a achieving or buying that car, right? A poor person can never invest a million dollars in stocks. A poor person can never would never get approved for a mortgage on a house, right? That's the same reason. So a poor person can't, fake it as if he's rich, right? And get approved for a mortgage. It's literally information that, you know, the mortgage brokers or the lenders see. So in order to basically, if your goal is to make more money or to basically improve your body to look better, right? Aesthetically, or even if you want to just get stronger or lose weight or get more fit, your current self, who you are right now at this present moment, would not be able to achieve it because you don't have the mental capacity and the experience. And in order to gain that, you actually need to become that person, right? So if, let's take an example, someone who's uh, 200 pounds, he wants to lose weight. He, his goal is to get to 150 pounds, right? To lose 50 pounds. His current self can't achieve that. He needs to kill his current self to become and to allow his, himself to become that future self that he wants to become, right? So it's like walking through fire, right? If your goal is on the other side, you have to walk through the fire. You can't jump over it. You can't dig a hole underneath it, right? That, that won't work. That walking through that fire is what makes you who you'll become after you come out of it, right? That's basically what it is. You gotta kill your current self. When you're working out, you're basically almost dying so you could live afterwards. So you're delaying the gratification of your life, right? Um, when you're working out the muscle, you're tearing your muscles and you're basically killing yourself, right? You're almost killing yourself in a super, super, super tiny manner in, this, in, this, in your muscle cells, right? And then when you go to sleep a few days later, that same muscle that you tore is now stronger just because you went through the fire and you purposefully sacrificed whatever it is you're sacrificing to become that person who you want to become in the future. Ah, <sighs> you see? So if I want to make more money, right? Then what I would do is I would look and research what traits or what do I need to know to become the person who is capable of making that amount of money that I want to make. So if you took Jeff Bezos, right? 
and you took all his money away. Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk, you took all their money away. Within years or even months, they would be able to get all of it back. Maybe not, not the billions that they have, but at least become again on the Forbes list, right? The Forbes billionaires list. So what's the difference between not Elon Musk and Elon Musk? The only difference is that Elon Musk has the experience and the knowledge in his head because he had trained himself what yes to do and what not to do, right? It's crazy. You know, it's crazy that you can become whoever the frick you want. To become your best self, you got to destroy your current self and sacrifice delaying the gratification of things, right? Because someone who always lives day by day gratifying himself with pleasures and listening to the evil spirit or whatever you'd call it, you know, um, they won't get anywhere because what they're doing is they're using the pleasure right now. So they're not destroying anything of their current self. So they're always going to stay the same. Same thing with people who smoke, who um, smoke marijuana, who smoke cigarettes, who take drugs, who drink alcohol obsessively, right? And what they're doing is they're taking the pleasure and basically using it right now. And look at the other side, the other spectrum, the other side of the spectrum. You have someone who doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, goes, wakes up early, goes to bed early, sleeps the same time every day, tries to eat healthy, goes to the gym. And after going to the gym, he comes home. And what he did in that hour that he went to the gym, he basically sacrificed and destroyed his current self. It's hard. You got to destroy your current self to become who you want to become. That's what he did. And now a year from now, he's destroyed his past self so much that he now became a bodybuilder or a calisthenics athlete, right? Whatever it is he wants to become or his goal is. And, oh, I'm shaking so much. And that's the key, guys. You got to destroy your current self. You got to beat it to the ground. Why? You see all these people like David Goggins who has extreme like crazy amounts of discipline right he ran a 100 mile run with no prior experience on a box of crackers and a freaking bottle of water he literally went to the hospital after he peed himself he was bleeding from his shins and he broke his legs how much discipline do you have to do that right now that is an extreme example right but that's discipline Discipline helps you destroy your current self so you can become who you want to become. And that's the key. You know, Dave, what David Goggins did, he got to a certain mental point in life where he couldn't take it anymore. There's what's called the minimum hygiene standard. What's the minimum you're willing to be hygienic towards yourself? Like, do you, the minimum for you is to brush your teeth once a day when you go to bed and maybe to floss and to shower once every three days. That's your minimum. Like no matter where you will be in life, you will do that minimum, right? That's your minimum hygiene standard. Take that and put that in your life, right? So what's the minimum you're willing to do to destroy your current self to become your future self? And once you do that, bruh, once you do that, you got it. You got it in here, right in here in your brain. And... <clears throat> You just got to keep going, keep learning, keep researching, right? So what David Goggins did, he had such strong discipline that he basically completely and utterly destroyed his current self, right? A few months after that run, he's a complete different person. Whereas you look at someone else who smokes and drinks and doesn't work out and is a couch potato, those months passed, the same months that David Goggins had passed, and he is the exact same person, right? One of the goals of life or the meanings of life is to improve yourself, become the best person you could possibly be and improve your character and spread love, you know, and whatever you can do. So I hope this video helped um, and I hope you learned something from it. And basically to recap, you gotta destroy your current self. And 
if you notice all of the activities that you do in life that you know you should do, but you still don't for some reason because you're procrastinating are the same activities that will make you a better person and will get you closer to become who you want to become in the future. <sighs> it's all about what you know and who you are, right? Um, yeah, so guys, just keep grinding, keep trying, and I hope this video helped. Just go ahead and try destroying your current self, right? When you're working out, when you're working, and it's something you, f you know you should do, but it doesn't feel good, just keep doing it, you know, because you know you should do it, yet you're not doing it because you're procrastinating. Maybe I'll make another video about why we procrastinate, but basically that's why it is, you know. Um, you gotta destroy your current self because you, as who you are right now, you can never achieve what you wanna achieve. That's the reason people achieve what they wanna achieve. They become that type of person who is capable of achieving it, right? And that's basically the purpose of this video. Mm. Mm. Okay, enough talking. Go do what it is you got to do to destroy your current self and become your future, your future um, model. And good luck, guys.